Welcome everyone to the 2 minute review of the 2002 F1 season. Let's get started. Prost Grand Prix team would no longer compete in Formula 1. Toyota entered the championship as a full-time works team. Arrow suffered financial collapse after the German Grand Prix and did not compete in Formula 1 since then. Felipe Massa made his debut with Sauber. Takuma Sato moved to Jordan from BAR test driver role. Mark Webber made his debut for Minardi and Alan McNeish for Toyota. Anthony Davidson raced for Minardi for two races and retired in both of them. In driver moves, Kimi Raikkonen moved to McLaren, while Giancarlo Fisichella swapped places with Jano Trulli at Jordan. Sean Lacey and Ricardo Zonta retired from Formula 1. Jos Verstappen lost his arrow seat to Frenzen. Alonso joined Renault as test driver. There was no change in the race calendar, as the same 17 races as the previous season were retained. Ferrari's dominance on Formula 1 has increased, while Williams' BMW was a major disappointment, finishing 129 points behind Ferrari. In the season opener, Mark Webber scored points on his debut with a fifth place. Ralph Schumacher led a 1-2 for Williams in Malaysia that was their only win of the season. A third place for Michael Schumacher at Sepang was his worst result of the year. Schumacher scored either a win or a second place in the remaining 16 races. Juan Pablo Montoya qualified on pole position for seven races. David Coulthard held off Michael Schumacher at Monaco to score McLaren's only win of the year. Kimi Raikkonen was leading at Magnicor but ran wide and lost his debut victory. Apart from Ferrari, Williams and McLaren only Eddie Irvine's Jaguar scored a podium in Monza. In Austria, Barry Kello was forced to concede his race lead due to team orders. He went on to win four races later the season. Mika Salo finished sixth in Australia and Brazil for Toyota. But as the season progressed, both VAR and Jordan overtook them. Toyota finished a miserable tenth in the constructor standings, only ahead of Arrows. Jensen Button emerged the best of the rest, finishing seventh with 14 points. Michael Schumacher scored a podium position in every race. He won a record 11 races. He set a new record for the quickest time to win a Drivers' World Championship, clinching it with a win in French Grand Prix with six races remaining. Ferrari was so dominant that all other constructors collectively scored as many points as Ferrari. This led the FIA to change the point system for the next season.